All right. Welcome, guys. Tonight, we are talking about something I know you got. <laughs> I love that Sam's butt is in the video. <laughs> Tonight, we are talking about one of the most important topics in our business, and I know you guys have all been antsy, lots of questions. So we really wanted to dive in and give you kind of a play-by-play how-to on tracking. So I hope you guys are really excited. This week, we're going to be really talking about it day by day, challenging you to kind of show up, um, hone in on your own tracking system, um, as well as maybe do some research and figure out what's the best for you. So tonight, um, I wanted to clarify, we've you know noticed throughout the group that we're posting a lot of like, oh, your funnel system, your tracking system, your, you know, we're throwing out all these terms. And so we wanted to clarify, tonight we're going to be talking specifically about a funnel system. And we wanted to kind of explain that Having a funnel basically is that whole process from when someone becomes your follower or your friend on social media, and you're going from, okay, that initial, hey, I followed you back, to all the way through to where maybe they're now your boot camp or your challenger, you sent them an invite. So it's step one through your new bestie. So we really want to show you kind of a great way to track that because if you, like we said, on day one, week one, if you don't have a list, you don't have a business. And if you're not tracking, then people will fall through the cracks. And so we're going to try to help you to avoid doing all of that and make sure that you feel successful um, and that you're comfortable with your system. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that I really wanted to address before we get started is that tonight, um, Marley, Sam, and I are going to touch on kind of what our own funnel slash tracking system look like. Um, but our funnels and our tracking have gone through numerous changes over the various lengths of times that we've been coaching. So just because you're on this call tonight or you decide to implement one of these tracking systems does not mean in a year from now that you may be using something different. Um, also, if you start tracking, I want you to go all in whatever system you decide to use really give it a fair shot. And if it's not right for you, be open to kind of changing, maneuvering, you know, figuring out what works best for your personality as well as for your business. Um, and on top of that, Marley, Sam and I, we all have been working this business. We all are diamond leaders and we all run our businesses and our tracking. It's all very different. So how we have conversations, how we post on our social media and how we track is all very different. And yet you're able to have success. So don't feel like that we show you a way tonight and you have to stick with that, but we do want to get you guys moving in the right direction because pen to paper is very hard if you're trying to grow your business in a mass, kind of, you know, that, that big movement, move it forward quickly in six weeks going to Diamond as well as, you know, hopefully farther than Diamond. Keeping track of all those people on pen and paper can be really, really difficult. So we want to, sorry. So we want to set you up for success. Um, and feeling like you have a system, you're working your system, and people are, you're able to move people um, about our individual systems. Um, we wanted to let you guys know that we know some people have already had a lot of questions about tracking, have already been working on coming up with the system. Um, and we know some people are like, they get off these calls and they're just ready to work, especially those people on the West Coast are like, shoot, this is like my prime time. My kid's in bed. I'm going to take action right now. Um, so although we're showing you our systems, we don't, we're not going to break it down to the nth degree because that can be a lot of information and a little bit overwhelming. On Tuesday, we are sharing specific YouTube links that are going to give you some more information on the different systems we're talking about. If for some reason, um, you want to look at those links or go find YouTube videos right now, I wanted to give you, um, two of the main ones, and then also know that that's coming your way. So don't feel like you have to go figure it out all by yourself. Um, so we're gonna be sharing a Melanie Mitro a Google Streak video from YouTube. Um, so if you wanna go research that tonight, you're more than welcome. Um, and then we're also gonna be sharing from the Beachbody Champions page. Um, one of the, the elite leaders shared a video completely on the funnel system. And you can use the funnel system in any, what you call CRM, but any tracking, Google Streak, um, there's a couple others, but I always forget their names because I don't use any of them. <laughs> so just keep that in mind that that will be coming your way. Um, so don't be overwhelmed if we're not giving you the intricate details. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to talk to you guys specifically. The system that I'm currently using right now is a true um, Google Excel spreadsheet funnel system. Um, so the way I track, um, I started originally on Facebook. And now I've transitioning over to primarily, I would say 80% Instagram. 
So the reason um, I use this system was it worked really, really well for Facebook and it has been a great system to use. Um, moving on to Instagram, but I'm gonna explain to you guys how I tweak it for each um, social media platform. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Okay, so this is truly, <laughs> it is not fancy in any way, which kind of goes with my personality. None of my um, business related uh, pages or systems are super fancy. If you see my business activity tracker, it is to the point, um, just like my, my tracker is. So um, I'm gonna kind of just explain to you guys really briefly what each category means um, and why I use this system. And then you can use this type of funnel system in any type of, uh, like I said, CRM, so Excel, Google Streak, whatever. Um, and Sam and Marley are going to talk a little bit on Google Streak and how they track within there. So the first category is I'm using somebody's name. Um, originally, when I was using this on Facebook, I downloaded my Facebook friends list and I copy and pasted every single person on that list and worked from there. Um, now moving over to Instagram, <laughs> it's a little more um, complicated because a lot of the people that I was talking to on Facebook I'm trying to transition them over to Instagram as well um, so my second time around talking to them I'm liking and commenting and all of this stuff on their page on Insta but basically I keep both on there because I want to know we're customizing you know a lot of our messages we're not just sending out mass true hey girl messages. My hey girl messages typically have someone's name in them. Um, and on Instagram, you don't necessarily have someone's first and last name on their page um, to where you can see it in the conversation piece. It's just gonna have their Instagram name or username. So I always like to have both if possible, if they have it listed. Um, and so then that way I can go back and look at my list and message, you know, Bella Fit 24 and say, hey Jessica, versus hey Bella Fit 24, which makes it seem like, you know, less personal. Um, so what I'm tracking in a system, I'm going to explain to you guys, um, I use a step system. So every person in the funnel um, is given a number based on the step of the process or the funnel that they're in. So on Facebook, the process takes a little longer. On Instagram, I've shortened it more for the very reason because of Insta stories is a great way to interact with people. Um, but also, I feel like, unfortunately, Facebook has does have a lot of um, MLMs, and so people... Um, tend to be a little more weary initially, so you do need to build that relationship a lot more um, in my eyes before you send an invite. So um, the date of last contact is the time, last time I talked to them, regardless of what stage in the funnel they're in. Um, I do follow-ups or move them through the funnel every two days. So for me, a typical, um, they become my new friend to inviting them, following up with them is like a week to 10 day process. Um, on Facebook and Instagram, I kind of smash that down into five or six days. Um, how you choose to do that, um, the time frames that you use to follow up with somebody, that can be very personalized to you based on how you feel, also based on the person. If I'm talking to somebody and going through the funnel and they're not ready for an invite after you know I've taken them through the process and it's time for me to invite, but I don't think they're ready, I'm not going to send them the invite. I'm going to you know move them in the funnel depending on what I think. So then this last column is my funnel, what stage they're in. So like I told you guys, everyone gets a number based on where they're at. So I'm gonna give you a very short description of what each one means, because it can get a little overwhelming. Um, but essentially, when someone's in the funnel, they become your friend, um, and then you're, you know, you're trying to build that relationship. So stage one and two in a funnel, especially on Facebook, are like you go onto their page and you like and comment on some of their stuff. This way they see your name popping up in their feed, they see you loving on their page, and they kind of maybe, you know, when someone sees that you don't know, like or comment, you're like, oh, I wonder who that is. And it gives them the opportunity to go look at your page. So on Facebook, I'm gonna do that twice. Um, on Instagram, I do that at once. Um, now, on Facebook, I personally don't think it's, I think it's kind of awkward to go on someone's Facebook page and go through five or six things and like and comment on their page because it's more of like a genuine timeline, right? Where on Instagram, when I do my, my uh, like and comment, I'll go and I'll like or comment on five or six photos, really interact. Um, and little things, guys, this is not like deep combos. This is like your hair looks fabulous, girl, oh my God, or your kids are so cute, or something that's just, um, I might even ask them a question on their page if they have a really pretty picture that they're somewhere. I'll be like, where is that? Things like that. Getting them to kind of see my name, not feel like I'm some rando, you know, that they know I'm coming to them. I'm, gonna, I'm starting a relationship with them. 
Um, so after, you know, my time frames have gone by, then I move them to stage three. This is what would typically be a Hey Girl message. Um, so in my Hey Girl messages, that's where I'm sending someone, asking them a question, non-beach body related. Um, typically, when I do um, my threes, I'm going to give them two days to respond to me. Keep in mind, guys, no one's in their messenger like we are. Um, I, I would say most people aren't. Um, so for me, two to three days is a reasonable amount of time for someone to, to respond to you. Or um, especially if they haven't seen it. If they've seen it and they don't respond, don't take it personally. Like you've maybe liked or commented on you know, a couple different, different occasions, you may seem like a stranger still to them. Um, or they may have seen your message, opened it, and walked away, which how many of us have all done that? Um, so for me, the way I track them, if someone does not respond to my hey girl message, is that I move them down here to a 90-day follow-up list. That just basically, every top coach will tell you, you know, and you'll hear their stories. They come in the National Wake Up Call. They're like, my coach reached out to me six times. She asked me to join her team five times. That's because this business is all about the follow-up. So how often you follow up, um, when you follow up, all of that stuff is very much personalized to you. I do a 90-day follow-up unless further specified by the person I'm talking to because I feel like that gives enough leeway time for them to watch me and to check me out and for me to come full circle and start that relationship again. If someone does respond to me in the Hey Girl message, then we're moving them along. Um, on Facebook, that's when I'm going to move them to a four, which is another like or comment on their page. Um, this is where I tend to transition on Instagram. If someone's responding to me and we're having a genuine conversation, um, whether I sent them a Hey Girl message, whether that's on my Instagram stories or on their stories, um, I'm just chatting with them. Sometimes I'll jump right over into an invite. I'm not going to do a, a li another like and comment because there's somebody who I've already started chatting with. I already feel comfortable talking to them. Um, if you know, I ask them a question. I'm like, you know, where'd you get that bag? And they're like, the store. Maybe go on and like and comment on their page and kind of build that relationship a little more. So remember, we're in a people business. So not everybody's going to be the same. Not everyone's going to respond the same. So really try to feel it out. Um, but also keep in mind when you're pushing your business forward, you do need to stick to some time frames in order to see that mass movement in your business. Um, so after stage four, um, or if I'm on Instagram, that's when we get to the fun part. I love inviting. That's my favorite part of the business. Hey girl messages are so uncomfortable to me. I'm going to be so real. I struggle with them, but let's talk about invites, sending someone, inviting them to this opportunity, inviting them to change their life. That's what this business is all about. So that's my stage five. Um, this is something that I'm going to send to anyone who started a conversation with me who I feel like we're at that point in the relationship where I know enough about them to where they would want to be here. They'd want to be in my boot camps or they'd want to be a coach on my team. Um, and after I send that invite, I'm giving them again, two days to respond. If I see that they've seen it, um, I'm going to then move them to stage six, which is a follow-up message. Um, this message is something like, hey girl, I'm not sure if you got my message, just wanted to check back with you, um, you know, see what's up, see if you're still interested, all of that kind of stuff. Usually people then will respond like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I thought I responded to you or whatever, and they'll start that conversation. Um, and I leave them at stage six until they've told me no, or they ghost me, or they're my next bootcamp coach challenger. Um, if someone ghosts me, I'm always going to send them a stage seven follow-up, which is more like, hey girl. No big deal. I run these boot camps every month. Whenever you're ready, let me know. So I run all of this, like I said, through Google. Um, I put my little notes right here. Um, if And literally all I'm changing when I'm working, I'm changing the date of last contact, my follow-up date, and the funnel. That is it. The beginning of every month, I go and pull for my 90-day follow-up list, my invite at a later date list, which is basically if someone told me, hey, follow up with me in May. May 1, I'm going to go pull their name and I'm going to put them on the running list. Um, and then I'm going to start working through them again because we know this business is all about follow-ups. So that's essentially what I do. Um, the main difference between Facebook and Instagram is on Facebook, I'm taking them through one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven sometimes. Where Instagram, I typically am in stage one, stage three, stage five, and then six and seven. Um, so basically, I'm able to remove one of the likes and comments on the front end and one of the likes and comments on the back end. Um, I also sometimes will skip a like and comment if it's someone who I'm just interacting with already on Messenger because of stories. Um, I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense, Sam? Okay. So um, basically the main thing that I want to 
kind of push for you guys to do is to find a way where it makes sense to you, where you can look at your tracking system in a very easy way and know what you're going to do in your power hour. So like this funnel, when I sort it, um, and I'm doing my power hour because we talked about, you know, setting up your goals and your timeframes. I immediately know that I'm going to my stage seven, six, and fives, fives first thing every single day. Because those are the people who are far, the, far enough in the funnel to where we're having real conversations about them joining the boot camp, them being a coach. Um, and then I move farther and farther down the numbers list. So it really, for me, has been super super focused. I'm able to take my time and know what I'm going to do before I even log into my list. Um, and that for me was what was crucial about this. Um, also I, I'm somebody who, like I said, I like to keep it really simple and really basic. So it has been really easy for me to work with. I've been using this system for like probably a year now. Um, but when I started, this was not my system. So I just want you guys to get comfortable with, and, and, the video that I got this from, this whole system and tracking this way, it will be shared on Tuesday. So she goes into in-depth explaining it um, and helping to understand it. Um, I hope that was, I see there's like stuff happening on the chat. So let me look. Oh, so the pink is for people when I was originally doing um, Facebook to Instagram. Um, they were the people who were on um, Instagram. I also um, have these people that are light blue, and those are people who are my second time follow-ups. So my biggest thing is I never wanted to talk to someone and use, because um, you know sometimes I'll use scripts, I never want to use the exact same verbiage I used the first time, the second time. Um, also, my second time invite is way more casual. Like, hey girl, I remember last time we talked, and you said you didn't have enough time. You ready now? Like that kind of a, an invite rather than like, I run these awesome boot camps and whatever. So for me, changing the colors, um, now since I'm moving, this is before I had the Instagram uh, name section, so that's why some of them are still purple. I just never switched them back to black. Um, but so that's why you'll see random colors, because for me, that was my way of understanding, oh, I can easily look at it and go, okay, blue, so obviously I talked to her before, and look at my notes and see what we talked about. Um, purple meant that it was somebody who I had reached out to on Instagram, even though maybe we were friends on Facebook, because like I said, even my Facebook people, I'm trying to move over to Instagram, so I might be friends with them both on both social medias, um, so I really wanted to make it as simple for myself as possible to be able to look at it and immediately know which one I'm going to. Um, because I know for some of my coaches who just recently started, that was, they said one of the hardest parts was like knowing how to know where you're talking to them. Um, so that for me was what I was initially using. Now, if they have an Instagram name, <laughs> I have reached out to them on Instagram and less further specified on my list, um, which I do as well. So does that answer everyone's questions? Red and blue, okay, perfect. Um, so, I hope that was helpful. Um, down here I have a lot of other you know, lists, but those are the main three lists that I work from. Like I said, for me, it's all about simplicity. It's all about knowing what I'm doing as soon as I log in um, and feeling like I have time frames. Every two days I talk to these people, every two days I talk to these people, and just being able to further move everyone through in a very efficient manner. So um, at this point, I'm gonna pass it over to Sam. Um, unless anyone else has anything. And she's gonna talk more about her specific system, what she uses, um, and why she uses it in each social media. Um, so I'm gonna unshare. And I, Sam, are you able to um, unmute yourself? I'm good. Hi, okay. So I think that the best thing to pull from what Brenna was saying is that she works efficiently with that system. So whatever system you pick, as long as you're working efficiently, is ideal. And if you're like, but I work really great with pen to paper. But on pen to paper, you can't do the little the drop down menu that she showed where she, she clicks it and she pulls up all of her fives or all of her fours or all of her ones and organize it. So literally, there's no lag time in her power hour. Her names that what she's doing that day is bop, 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 bop. bop. And so she can just bust it through. And I will tell you, I've been a coach for three and a half years. I have done 100 different list. <laughs> I still have all of mine. Sometimes I go back to them. Um, I have abandoned Facebook. I just said, 
bye. <laughs> and that wasn't really like my plan. And if somebody reaches out or is like really engaging with me on Facebook, I will add them to my list, but I will tell you that I'm not going through my followers anymore. I did what Brenna did. She actually showed me how to do that. Cause I used to just go through, like I'd pull up my, you know, friends and I'd like type them over. She's the one who showed me how to like download the whole list. Um, and I did that. And then Facebook just kind of became hard for me personally. If Facebook is rocking it for you, keep that with Instagram. But what I'm going to talk about is just Instagram. So the funnel is to me exactly, you know, what we said is that the stages of where you, where you start your, your interaction with somebody and you move them into hopefully a challenger or a person on your team. It's the process. The funnel is the process and you have to track where you're at on your process. So when we talk about tracking, we're talking about our list, but know that you have to keep a tally of what you're doing within your list on your BAT every single day so that you know what you're doing. Um, I am a lot more, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know, I'm just snapping because I feel like that's just, I'm just bop, bop, bop with, with, with my people on Instagram because I abandoned Facebook. So most of the people on my Instagram following are not people I went to high school with are not people I know. So I feel if you're there, I give, I have given you value in some way, whether it's my awesome mom jokes or like my motivation or my fitness or something, I am adding value to your life. You are still a follower of mine. So <clears throat> I, so kind of like Brenna's step one of the like and the follow, what I do is I go through and I follow my people and I like and comment on them there. I don't write their name down until they follow me back and I initiate a Hey Girl message. So I'm gonna show you my steps on my, and I use Google Streak now and that's really been working for me. Um, Cami? No. So I don't know if, if you want to, you can take like a picture of this or a screenshot on your computer if you're trying to look for ideas. Um, Cause we're gonna sh share the Melanie Mitro video and she has different funnel points she is at a different place in her business people are emailing her begging to be on her team <laughs> that's not happening for me <laughs> so i have more steps that are more specific so really i start on the red which is the hey girl message but to me because i follow things like i don't know it feels like a sequential order that if i'm gonna do a long-term follow-up for the 60-day follow-up it goes before the hey girl and i'll explain that so I have a Hey Girl, which is when I initially reach out to them. Hey girl, um, I love your page. Um, I have two kids too. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. How old is your child or babies or whatever? Hey girl. Then hopefully we will interact. If we vibe and interact, um, so what I do is I write their name, the Hey Girl, almost everybody says Instagram. And so then it has, I have their Instagram handle and then what date that I Hey Girled them. On Google Street, it's really nice so that if, um, so when I want to switch them, or when I sit down then to do my next stage, which is inviting, what I do is I just go right through. I funnel my list, just like Brenda does by date. So we're A to Z. And the most, the like longest contact out is, you know, July 19th. And I would open up the message, and if we engage with each other back and forth enough, I'm going to go right to invited. So I'm going to put her to invited and I'm going to send her an, um, an invite. If she was someone who like Brenna gave the example of like, you know, a store or like whatever, well, like, Hey, like how old are your kids? And, and she just writes the number three, you know, like, okay, maybe you don't really want to talk to me. I'm not going to send you an invite right off the bat. So I'm going to basically build, I call it building. I'm going to build on that relationship. And I'm gonna send her a message again. And maybe she's been watching me, so maybe she's gonna open up a little bit more. Maybe she doesn't, I don't really know that. But I'm gonna, I always push them through the funnel, it doesn't matter. If I go through, <clears throat> so then I go through Ariana, whatever, I might put her, oh no, am I freezing? Okay, I'm good. It said my connection was unstable, sorry. So, you know, 
I'm going to go through each one of these. If you have not answered my Hey Girl message, um, I'm going to move you to the 60 day follow up list. Honestly, I thought Brenna did 90 days. I thought Brenna did 60 days, which is why I did 60 days. I don't get to them in 60 days to be real. So it's just kind of like my list <laughs> that I'm going to follow up that I tried to get to. But if we're just being honest, I'm not like super punctual with that. So if you do not answer my Hey Girl message, I give you two times. If you do not answer my Hey, my hey Girl message twice, I unfollow you. Um, not because I'm not like blocking you. If you want to reach out to me, that's great. However, I'm busy. I'm trying to help people who want to be helped. And if you look at the top coaches, they're, the people they are following are always way smaller than the people who are following them. You know, like Keisha Fitzgerald follows under a thousand people. Um, you know, these, they're very focused on who they're giving their attention to. And if you can't answer a hey girl message to me, I love you. I hope that I can still motivate you and encourage you. And if you reach out to me, I'm going to be there. Um, but if not... I'm not going to spend all my energy trying to boost you up if you can't even answer my hey girl message. Anyways, so then I'll go to an invite. Let's say, so this is my stages to invite. So I have four stages of the invite. So invite stage number one is when I send the, um, you know, hey girl, um, I run these virtual these health and fitness virtual accountability groups. Um, I didn't know, or I wanted to shoot you an invite. I didn't know if it would be your thing, but if it could be, I would love to have another mom in the group like you. And I always add something personal in there um, that maybe we've talked about or that's something about their page. And then if that's something that you could be into, let me know. So that's invited. If she comes back and says, can you tell me more about it? And we start talking about it, I move her to follow up info. So basically follow up. She wants info. If we talk about info and she is interested in a group, um, then I move her to interested in a group, but then we get to price, right? So then I'm an interested in a group, but then do you actually buy the link? One of two things will happen. She will either become a challenger or I will move her to the long-term follow-up. And the difference between the 60 day follow up and the long term follow up is like, I'm super interested, but I have to wait till payday, or I'm super interested, but um, I can't afford it right now, or I'm going on vacation. So they want to do it, but they can't right now, versus 60 day follow up list is like they're showing very little interest when they start ghosting. You know what I mean? However, if you ghost me, if you say you're interested in a group and then ghost me, you go on the long term follow up. In my mind, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you just want to be in my group so much, you just act so busy. So these are my, I wish I had like a pen. I'm so visual. I wish I could like circle what I'm talking about. Um, but so what I do, okay, what are we talking about? What are the steps are, how we move through them, and then how you try it. So every, so because of Brigitte's call, and I actually started doing it this week, is, there's a child. Going on. Um, hold on, I'm pull, trying to pull up the drive, but it's not working. Oh, here. So long-term follow-up is shorter follow-up than 68. Sometimes it just depends. And on streak, like these these people, I've kind of been avoiding. But <laughs> but like most of them are like May or June. A lot of these people, if I were to go into them. Because on um, Google Streak, what you can do is you can click them and you can add a, a follow-up date. A lot of these long-term follow-ups, I've specifically picked the calendar day that it's going to alert me. Um, if not, if it's just a general, I can't afford it right now, I'd really like it. I usually check in with them once a month. Uh, so I'll go through and I'll just look like for my August challenge group, I'll look back at all the people in my long-term list for July or whatnot, if that makes sense. But if you can see, which is why I talked about it in my live video, like I think the first week, is that you start with, you know, 100, I have 146 people in my current Hey Girl messages. Um, I did just clean out, so I did all my follow-ups and all that uh, yesterday or two days ago, I forget. 
so I cleaned everybody out. So people who didn't answer, people who I kind of just like cut the cord because sometimes you're like waiting, like, well, they really want to do it, but they're just not answering me. Eventually you just have to cut them. <laughs> you have to say, um, you know, hey girl, I run a group every single month. Um, I'd love to have you. You seem really busy right now. Can I follow up with you next month? Or, you know, something like that. So you have to move them. But you see like, that's why you have to invite so many, or you have to, hey girl, and follow so many more people because you, you know, you start with this big of a number and then you get down to 25 invites and then six people are interested in, in you know, like you see how it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, but look at my long-term follow-up. I have almost a hundred people and I just started this in April. Um, I've, I've only been on streak since I think April 15th was my first log I did. So that's a lot of people that are totally interested in a group that I can get to as much as I can. So how I then track this? So what I do is I try to work as efficiently as possible. I try to use the timers um, when I'm being good. So what I do, oh, stop, is what I'll do is I'll be like, you know, Wes, and then I'll put the day. And then next, uh, Brenna. Uh, next. And I'm like, hey girl. And so I have my phone out and I'm like, hey girl, blah, 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 blah. I don't have a Mac computer, so I can't do instant messages on my computer. But I mean, if you did, you could just like go back and forth. And I'm like, bop, 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 bop. So then whenever I'm done working for the day, I count everybody I hey girl that day. And I only track my hey girls, my invites, and my follow ups. I don't track, I personally don't track the other stages. Um, I just don't. I feel that the value is in my new contacts, my invites, and then my follow-ups, and then my invite to coaching. Um, that is, that's really it for my system. If anybody has any questions for my specific one, I really like Google Streak. It's working for me. I can see um, why people do other systems because I've done 15, like I told you. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm married to this one and I'm going to do it forever, but it is really working for me. So let me look at the chat if there's anything. Okay, no questions. So I'm good. Marley, are you ready? Is she here? Yes, she is. Oh, and she's back home. Look at her. She's so ready to go. Okay, so I'll stop sharing. Um, I think I answered everything I was supposed to. So basically I, um, you know, I take my, that's my list and I take my BAT and then I set my goals for my BAT. Um, and I track what I do every day on a separate paper because then like truly when I go to my success partner who I, if you don't have what I suggest, you get one. Um, we don't do anything to keep each other accountable. The success partner is not supposed to pull you along. They're supposed to just bounce ideas off of you and, and, and help you stay motivated. When I go, I say, okay, today wasn't my best day, but I did, like last night, I went to her and I was like, I did 12 coach invites and I did, you know, 10 invites and it wasn't my best day, but I, I worked in my power pockets and I worked in the, with a timer and I actually feel really accomplished from what I got done. Um, you know, so you have numbers as opposed to like, I worked for four hours. Well, I worked yesterday. I did actually work for four hours, but I did a lot of business related activities. And that's what you'll find yourself doing, making banners, talking to your already existing calendars, things that are super, super important. However, you're not going to get to diamond by talking to people who you've been talking to for like 20 minutes. You got to move on love you. Like some of my challengers I could talk to forever. Some of my coaches I could talk to forever, but eventually it's like, well, that doesn't count as working time. That counts as social time. So your numbers will help you know where you're at in your business. So that's my, that's, that's me. So now it's Marley's turn. Take it away, Marley. All right. Okay. Great job. No, I loved it. And I love seeing the differences. Oh, you know what? I'm on my Mac now. I don't need those. Okay, so um, 
me and uh, Sam are very similar because we both use Google Streak. Um, I'm just going to show you a few things that I do that are just a little bit different. And so you can take your, which one that you think is, um, you know, kind of works the best and just tweak it to work for you. Um, if you decide to do Google Streak, I will tell you three things that um, you probably won't see in the YouTube videos. So um, if you have your Google Streak and you're only using it from your phone, you can download Google Streak as the app. But the trick is you actually have to set it up physically on a computer first for it to work correctly on your app. So and um, that can be like I actually have physically went before I got my laptop for my birthday and went to the uh, public library, physically set it up. And then and it can't be. Um, you know, anywhere else, like it physically has to be set up through your Gmail and then created to be able to use from your phone. So that's one thing. So like if you're trying to do it just from the app itself and are getting super frustrated, that's probably why. The second thing, um, you actually physically have to download the streak and then it will start popping up under your Gmail to start putting together. So if you're kind of, you know, going to Gmail, trying to put that up and it's not working on your computer, you actually have to go to streak.com and do that. And the third thing, um, what was the third? Oh, the third thing is like, if you have a Mac, you actually have the option to have Safari and then you actually have, um, like if you do any Facebook lives, you probably already know this. You actually have to have the Chrome browser, the circle that has the yellow, green, and red. That is the only browser that will actually be able to view your inbox or your, um, Google street from there. So those are just three things. If you're feeling super frustrated and you're on Safari and it's not working, and those are just some tips from when I first started that was really frustrating that I always want um, other people to know. So I'm going to share my screen and a lot of it is very similar to what Sam said. I'm just going to show you a few things that I do just a little bit differently. Um, let's see this one. Okay, so the difference is um, in Sam and I's brain is just, I think is great because it shows you the differences in the coaches and that you can do them any way that you want to do it. So when I invite, my brain does not work and I do not coach well if I'm just coaching to whatever um, anybody, any of their needs. So I am not a coach that works well under, come sign up under me, I'll figure out which BOD you need or what you need. Do you need Shakeology or do you need Performance Line? We'll figure that all out and have a whole bunch of individuals and try to group them together. That doesn't work well for my brain. So what, what works well for my brain is knowing what I'm inviting to and when I'm inviting, inviting when, when and where. So for example, and what I do is like, of course, everything started with Facebook and now it's tra transferring over to Instagram. So I am, I guess I can close a bunch of these so you can kind of see them. And this really needs to be switched. But okay, so on, um, I really, really did a great job tracking my Facebook friend requests. And when they would accept me, I would put them here under friend request. And then I would go to a uh, new friend to me means and they either requested me or they're pretty much the same thing. Like I'm not exactly and um, I haven't tried to form them yet or we're not really doing anything. We're just basically friends now and they're kind of watching me and um, form right here to me. And um, if y'all don't know, that actually stands for family, occupation, recreation and um, Crap, I don't remember what the last one stands for. Basically, it means all the things that you can ask them. So, do you have any kids? What do you do for fun? And where do you work? And, um, oh, something, I think it's something about meaning. Like, anyways, that doesn't really matter. So, basically, if you're just trying to get to know this person, form to help you figure out what you need to ask them, how you need to ask them. Now, again, that's more for Facebook. Like Sam said, I completely agree with that. When I go to invite, Doc. When I go to invite, I, hey, Brenna, is it okay if I mute you? Okay. And um, so when I actually go to and um, do the um, invite, I'm inviting to something specifically. So I'm 
I'm inviting, like for example, in March, it was my March accountability group. It was probably going to be 80 day obsession at that point that I was inviting to. April was probably the same thing. And I did in May, my first kind of May, June-ish, my first coaching opportunity. Then I had some people that I invited to there. And so I'm depending on the month and depending on which week of the month it is, because I split my months up into two ways. The first part um, of the month, I'm kind of catching up on the challenge group that's going to start normally the second week of the month. So I'm inviting to that. And then at the end of the month, it's going to be um, coaching opportunity, business building, things like that. And then the last week, in the first of the next month, they're going to kind of come together for that challenge group. So and that that is how I set mine up and I can go back like in May to 2B Mindset. Obviously, that's what it was. Then July was Lift 4. August is going to be Lift 4. I, When I send my invites, it's not just join me on my journey. Join me for XYZ. So that is how I set mine up. Now, you can do it any way you want to do it. I just wanted to show you that because it was just a little bit different. And um, something I do not do is, I, I'll be honest, you can see this. This is as far as I got. I do not track my Instagram followers for this reason, because to me, so many people will follow you, but if they really, to me, deserve a reach out, they're gonna be watching your stories. And so I focus on my stories, and I really focus on in my stories, um, tagging um, random hashtags, nurse, teachers, military mom, busy mom, things like that, and all cities in the United States. So I'm constantly getting new eyes on my Insta stories. So instead of focusing on, in, um, hold on baby, just a minute. And so instead of focusing on, because like right now on my Insta, Instagram, there's like almost what is I think like 13 or 1400 there's no way that I'm gonna that I've talked to all of those that's gonna you know that's just on the for real but the hundred or two hundred that follow my stories every day those are the ones I'm gonna focus on because they've seen me I can go past the forming if I'm keeping up with my Instagram and I can go straight to the invite so and um, on Facebook I do keep up with the friend request and try to move them over to form as much as possible but on Instagram I don't so again that's just a coaching thing and that's whatever you want to do but um all of these that um, I do are going to be the people who are actually watching. Let me see, like right here. Um, the way that I know that it's Facebook or Instagram is literally by the name. Like if, like obviously this is Insta, Insta, this would be what they, and I, because I'm a very visual person, I put their full name of Insta or their full name of Facebook because I'm not gonna try to change it on here and then try to find that person later thinking I'm gonna remember because I won't remember. So um, anyways, these are just the ones I do. Now I will tell you this, when you go to Instagram, or if you choose to do Google Streak, you know, click right here and you can actually add whatever comment it is. So like for example, this person is not this way, but if in July it's still that month and I have actually, because I'm, I'm have a specific date that my challenge group starts. If I followed up with this person a couple of times, but they're not really ready to move out of the July accountability group, this right here is where I actually put the comments. Okay. She told me she would sign up on this day and I sent the link this day, da, 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 da because it's, I haven't moved from July. So I can add all these comments and then they will be down here. I um, wonder if I can find somebody that's like that. Mm, let me see, I think she is. Um, okay, so like right here. So I followed up with her to see if she wants to do, because I did the, when, when I put her under the July accountability group, that was my initial invite. Then I followed up with her and then I sent the official link waiting for reply. And that's when I got, I'm not able to afford it right now. I'm going to, you know, do it um, in a couple of months. So that is how you can actually do it from there. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into super detail, but that just, it, what I do kind of combines what Sam and Brenner are both doing into one. So you just can kind of see another option. Um, sorry, let me see. What is the... Let's see. Okay, so I think, okay, I don't think those are for the actual questions. So, okay, that's pretty much all that I have. Um, I definitely think it's important to find your own thing that works for you and to find the way that tracking can be very simple as long as it makes sense 
sense to you. Because if it doesn't make sense to you, then however you track is not going to work. So I can put things, um, like if I did it the way Sam did it, or if I did it the way Brenna would do it, it wouldn't work in my mind because I track per invite. Whereas they don't track per invite, they do it a little bit differently. So figure out how you're currently inviting and set up whatever system you are doing that way. That would be and what I suggest the most because if not, if you're having to go back to your notes, because that's what I was having to do is go back to my notes to see what the funnel step one through five or one through seven is. I, I don't got time for that. <laughs> you know, we got to go, we got to hurry, we got to hustle. So um, anyways, that is just something that um, I think is really important. And again, like Brenna said, if you need to go ahead and go to Google or YouTube and find a video for specifics on how to set it up and, um, you know, do it, hustle hard. You know, you don't have to wait till Tuesday, do whatever you want to do now, because that's really important. And um, I sorry, I should have so much better. Yeah, great job, Jessica. Um, yeah, I literally used to go by like every Monday a spiral and start a new list and would like throw the other one away because I would think I would remember what my paper said, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> I couldn't ever remember. So anyways, great job, ladies. Proud of y'all. Okay, and, and Sam, what did you have to say? Um, I think that you know, I hope that you take from this that in a good way, if you're focusing on making your list better, you're at a stage in your business that you should celebrate. Because if you were a brand new baby coach, we would be like, just get the invites out, you know, like just rip off that bandaid. When you're at a, like in the 10X rule, he talks about how you always want a new problem. So when you first start, you're like, I don't know what to post on social media. I don't know how to send an invite. Um, those are your first problems. And then your second set of problems are like, okay, I need a list that I work efficiently from. You're on to the next set of problems. So that's a really good thing. And that's, I love when Grant Cardone says that. And, um, you know, one of the babes in this group, she said, okay, I, I, I have the system down. Now I have to master managing more conversations than just four or five, because four or five are not going to get you to where you want to be. Right. But it's a new set of problems. So this is a, it's a really great thing. One thing too, I'm not trying to sell you on streak, but I wanted to show too, is that, um, really fast. Cause I just remembered is that you can track your, um, it, I'm sorry. It automatically tracks your history with them. So if I go into my long-term follow-up and I'm not going to be able to pull one up right away, but like, let's see. Joni. So see how it says, hey girl message two months ago, long-term follow-up one month ago. Um, so I can look at our history at a glance really fast and know like where, okay, so like, hey girl to invited, she wanted info, then we moved her to follow-up. But I'm trying to find somebody here, a new challenger. Um, where is she? Where is she? So this girl was, hey girl, I moved her, to, I invited her, and then I she didn't answer me. I moved her to her 60 day. I do exactly what Marley says. Um, I do go through my new followers and I'll send them a hey girl, but I mostly focus on my Instagram viewers. But if I've already talked to everybody, um, then I have to like come up with new people. <laughs> so um, I'm working on getting better at that. But um, so what happened was is that she, if you can see, she was on my 60 day follow up list. She was watching my Instagram stories. So I hate, I didn't, hey girl, I mean, I just talked, I like started up a conversation again, which I called building. And then she expressed that she was interested in a group and now she's a challenger. So it kind of can, you can track it that way too. Um, you know, and, and Brenda mentioned like she does a different color so that she knows when, um, you know, she's, hey girl, or she's invited them a couple times because that's a totally different, different way. I do the same thing. I'm not like, I don't use the same initial invite. I'm much more to the point as well. Like I'm like, hey, I know that you weren't ready for my June group, but I just opened my enrollment for my August group and would love to like open a spot for you. So here are all the ideas. Um, we're going to share the like legit, <laughs> um, videos of these where we got our ideas, but you're going to have to tweak it to make it to yourself. 
So I hope that this was helpful and added value. I hope that you are still pushing and sending a lot of invites into your challenge groups, into the coaching opportunity. Um, you know, I shared on the live video, if you caught it the other day, like you just talked about coaching or what you do as a coach for an entire week. You need to go through everybody who watched that stuff and liked it and commented and message them. If you're brave enough, send them a direct invite. If you're not, um, you know, start up a Hey Girl message and then um, go to your old challengers. See if anybody wants to coach. See if they want to talk about coaching. See if they want to be a discount coach. You have diamond coming at you. So you can't be waiting because it takes a while to talk to people about things. So that was just my last little in input. And Brenna's making pieces. So I'm going to stop the recording.